I'm here with the fabulous Heather Kroll, director of the Adelaide Fringe, and celebrating 60 years of Fringe this year. How are we going to celebrate? But it's hard to believe that it's 60 years old. I mean, the Fringe started in 1960 as a, as a little, small, fr uh, tiny fringe on the side of the Adelaide Festival, um, started by Adelaide artists. They said, well, we want to have our own festival. If we can't be in the festival, we'll go alongside with the Fringe. And then over the decades, it has mushroomed and ballooned into this enormous festival that takes over the whole of Adelaide and 60 years here we are celebrating six decades of Fringe and as usual the Fringe is going to take over the whole city um, as a special uh, as a special thing for our 60th anniversary we've created a 60 years of Fringe book it's a limited edition book and it's like if you imagine somebody created a scrapbook for six decades oh, and they're just cutting out all the clippings and taking um, lots of photos and quotes from people. It's so much fun. You can dip in and out of that book. Um, there's also going to be a beautiful fringe walk down North Terrace. Every poster ever of the Adelaide Fringe will be lit up in light boxes all the way down North Terrace. And those posters are so iconic, they really trigger all our memories of the Fringe. So you look at that, um, take for example 2002, the big yellow background with the pink Bambi and you just immediately can be t transported back to that Fringe. So I think that using the artwork of the posters um, was, was a really great way for us to celebrate the 60 years. Yeah, it's had incredible growth over the last few years yeah. and are we going to grow again? Yeah, so we've had, in ticket sales, we've had double digit growth for about eight years. Yeah, it's incredible. So last year we sold 825,000 tickets. It's beyond the, you can't even comprehend it. It's unbelievable. Um, it, the year before we were about 700 and 600,000. When I started about five years ago, we were selling about 500,000 tickets. This year we're on track to sell probably 900,000. And we've got a target to sell a million tickets by 2022. Yeah, so, you know, just amazing that the Adelaide people come out almost every night of the month. Not only that, the tourists are coming more and more as well now. So we're getting a lot more people from overseas. So we should try and get that faster so that we can sort of say we've sold a ticket for every single person in South Australia. Absolutely. Because pretty soon it will be. Yeah, it will be. Uh, that's thing. right. That's yeah, it. the whole population. And, I mean, on average, people come, uh, our ticket buyers probably come out about four times in the month. But there's some people that are coming out 10, 20, 30, 40 shows. So we've got some big fans. And one of the things the Fringe has done really, really well is look after the artists that come here. Yeah. And so you have the program called Honey Pot. Yeah. And so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so behind the scenes, um, we have a program called Honey Pot, which is the marketplace of the Adelaide Fringe. So what happens is people come from all over the world uh, to look for shows, to discover new shows, to discover talent. And they might be there to book a show for a tour in Thailand or um, a, a theatre in New York or a festival in France or um, a cruise ship or a television show. And in reality, you just never know who you're sitting next to in the Adelaide Fringe audience because oh, it might true. be someone who's commissioning for television or it might be someone who's looking for shows um, for a tour through America and Canada and throughout Asia. And we've um, generated millions and millions of dollars of deals for artists uh, for their future touring every year in the last few years at Fringe. We've really expanded this marketplace. Um, we've had a dedicated um, uh, set of staff and resources put to it, especially in the last few years where we've um, taken it from having around 50 delegates to around 300 delegates every year. And it's really gone from like, you know, where Edinburgh is sort of that artist marketplace for the Northern mm. Hemisphere. This is really the marketplace in the Southern Hemisphere for those artists, isn't oh, it? Oh, definitely. It's, um, it's one of the biggest drivers for why people keep coming back yeah. and um, registering their show in the Adelaide Fringe. Um, a lot of people come here because um, they want to try new shows out on the audience. They love Adelaide audiences, they really do, the artists, and they think they're really responsive to new content, new shows. But the other reason they're here is um, because they think, you know, there's a chance they can get a booking for future touring, and that's something that um, cuts us, it's, it makes us very different to a lot of the other fringe festivals. Um, Edinburgh and Adelaide are really the ones that have got the big marketplace for the artists. I've had a look through the program. 
oh my god, you know, like really you just go all day, all night <laughs> for weeks and weeks. Just goes on and on and on. Maybe three things I shouldn't miss. Well, um, we have our well, we do have our wonderful ambassadors, and they're all fabulous stars. Amanda Palmer is um, uh, doing the opening weekend. She's absolutely incredible. So, Amanda Palmer, uh, Marsha Hines is in Velvet, and Fez Farner is um, in uh, a show in Garden, Garden. Garden. and also in Tandanya. And um, so, those three are not to be missed. And then on the page earlier. We have this incredible um, Aboriginal uh, Dreaming in Light project, Yabara. Don't miss it. It's every single day of Fringe. It's free, but you do need to book, but it's free from 10 till 10. And as you walk into Tandanya, you will be entering an Aboriginal dream time all around you. The Milky Way above you, the flora, the fauna around you, uh, the animals are running around and the, the footprints are on the floor. It's incredible. You're literally in a dream time and um, there's some really magical special effects going on really around there. looking forward to that one. Mm. Thank you, Heather. I can't wait. We've got less than two weeks. Yes. And um, and then we're on. <laughs> <laughs> no, she goes, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah. well, I'll see you there. Can't wait. Thanks.